Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr., Total Steel Piston Rings, and welcome to our video series on Piston Rings 101. There's a lot to be known about piston rings and how they work, more importantly, how they affect the performance of your engine. So let's get into it. So Total Seal is known as the home of the gapless piston ring, the inventor of the gapless piston ring. And you may be wondering, well, what does the gapless piston ring have to do with my Porsche? Well, we need to think about how internal combustion engines normally are laid out and how they work to understand the importance of a gapless piston ring. This piston ring right here is a standard piston ring with a conventional end gap. And the reason for an end gap is because it allows for thermal expansion. Obviously, engines start off and they're quite cold. As they run, they heat up. The end gap allows for thermal expansion. But it's also a leak path. Now, say a straight engine where the pistons are aligned vertically, gravity can assist in allowing oil to drain back to the crankcase. Now, in a flat engine and the piston ring rotates around, it's going to come to the bottom. And now that leak path is also a pathway to increase oil consumption. So you need to have a gap to allow for thermal expansion, but you don't want a gap that increases oil consumption. Enter the gapless piston ring. So no matter what the position of the end gap is in a gapless piston ring, there's never a leak path back to the cylinder. Now you may wonder, well, this is a great idea, then why didn't anybody else do it? Well, one, we have a patent on it, so that's one thing. But even at the OEM level, Porsche has done something very similar in that they've pinned the second ring. By pinning the second ring with the piston located like this in the engine, now the gap is always on the top. Now the difference between this setup and the OE setup is this piston ring can't rotate. This piston ring can. So it's a bit easier on the bore and reduces friction some. So the OE setup has already recognized the issue with having an end gap in a flat engine and how that can increase oil consumption. That's the OE solution and this is the aftermarket solution. So a question we get from time to time is with a gapless ring, which actually isn't necessarily gapless, it's actually two interlocking rings as you can see here, will these gaps ever line up? And the answer, no, because as the ring rotates with on itself, eventually the short end gets so much gas pressure that it acts like a brake. So it will rotate from the installed position like this, 180 degrees. It'll rotate about 45 to 60 degrees around, and at that point, it no longer moves. But the ring as a whole continues to rotate in order to pro maintain proper ring seal and help seal the bore properly. All right, so we know the factory likes to have a pin in order to keep the end gap from increasing oil consumption to help seal the bore better. We've discussed that the Total Steel solution is a gapless ring as well, and both the factory and Total Seal choose to use a gapless second position. So which means that ring is going to go in the second ring groove, which fortunately you can see that right there on the packaging that the gapless ring and the gapless rail are both included in the same package and they're both labeled as the second groove because they were designed to fit in the second groove. It's important to note that the rails that come in here are designed specifically for the gapless ring. Don't mix those up with your oil control rails. They look very similar, but they are different. Next thing is all the ring sets do come with instruction sheets. So you don't have to memorize everything I'm saying right now because it will cover everything you need to know in terms of how to install 
a gap plus second ring in order to get the maximum performance and benefit from that ring set. And one last little thing to keep in mind is ring sets come in two different forms. One, there is a file to fit set, which means you need to file the end gaps in order to get them correct. Because again, the end gap is still there for thermal expansion. Even the gapless ring still needs to be gapped for proper thermal expansion. Again, sets come two ways. Drop in ready where they've been pre-gapped or file the fit that allows you to set the gap for your application. Say for example, you have a turbocharged engine versus a naturally aspirated engine. Because of the extra heat and pressure of a turbocharger, you need more end gap. So we'll cover end gap and how to file to fit a ring set in another video. But just know that every ring set from Total Seal that you can get from LN Engineering comes with all the packaging you need, all the instructions to get the job just right. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next. We discuss surface finish and board geometry. Thanks for watching.